Hello everybody, my name is Nick, aka Loaded Wombat. I'm getting a lot of questions on like how I stream and how I use Streamlabs OBS. And so if you have any questions about that, you might want to watch uh, the next series of videos. Uh, what I'm going through first is going to be the record or the settings that I have like behind the scenes for Twitch. I'm just gonna go through all my settings, show you guys, show you guys why I have those, uh, a little bit of why, and and hopefully help you guys set up your side of things too. Now, some of these settings, some of them will be different for you, depending on what equipment you have and depending on what uh, like your internet is, all that kind of stuff. And so keep that in mind. So this is basically the settings portion of of Streamlabs OBS. This first page on general, as you're going down the down the list here, and this is as as is um, kind of at the end of 2019 here. Uh, we're about, we're in December 2019 as I'm recording this video. Uh, and I'll hopefully update this as things change on Streamlabs OBS as they tend to do quite a bit. So on general, I haven't really touched anything on this, this page. So I don't think you guys really have to worry about too much on this page. Now there might be some certain things that you can mess with uh, on your own time, but I haven't really messed with anything here. For this page here, you're gonna kind of go to, uh, you're gonna basically choose your streaming service. A lot of people are using Twitch right now. So I, I mean, obviously I'm on Twitch. So I'm using Twitch, but you can also choose like Mixer, YouTube, Restream, all that kind of stuff. Twitter even, um, or like Periscope. For server, I just do auto. And then for stream key, I, all you do is you go into Twitch or you copy your stream key from there, you paste it into here. For output, what I do for streaming, uh, and it's all like kind of like blocked out right now because of, because of me like recording right now. But what I do for streaming is I've got my uh, hardware Envy Inc. NV Inc. Uh, is, is my encoder. Now, there's only certain graphics cards that can do this. Uh, I have a RTX 2080. And so this one can, mine can, mine can do this. But you're going to want to look at your equipment here. Like, what graphics card do you have? Do you have a graphics card that can handle this? You're going to want to kind of search that up and research that before you guys choose. It's either this or it's the X264, uh, which will be like running off of your CPU. The reason why I don't run it off of my CPU is because I've found problems where if I'm running a lot of stuff, then my stream can lag and all that kind of stuff. And it's a little bit clear of a, of a I've noticed it's a little bit clear of an image doing this, you know, this encoder. So, sick nasty. Uh, how I found a lot of these is this right here. So let me show you guys this this thing really quick okay so if you guys search up twitch like recommended settings you'll find this page this page is super helpful for any streamers out there that that if you guys haven't like found this yet um it's something that'll that'll change your life okay so it kind of explains some of the different things here too and i'm going to talk about bitrate in a second but and i'll just kind of read through that for you and, and kind of show you that but this is that nvidia nvenc uh specs so this is kind of how i found mine I looked at 1080p 60 frames per second. Now I was running nine uh, 900p 60 frames per second. The biggest thing for me that was a that was a problem why I switched back to 1080p was because when I went to go like make YouTube videos and stuff like that, the quality really dropped because in in YouTube I couldn't figure out how to do like 900p 60 frames. It was always going to 720, and so it just d just tanked the quality every time I do a YouTube video. So now I'm just doing it at 1080p. Um, and then you kind of just go down the list, right? So you go down resolution, bit rate, uh, rate control, frame rate, all that kind of stuff. You just go down the list and then you'll notice that it fits right into here, right? So rate control, bit rate, uh, keyframe interval, max quality, high, that kind of stuff. And then what you're going to want to do is do like, do a couple test streams. Like if you're just starting out, I mean, you can just do them on your regular account, but if you've been streaming for a little while and you're looking to kind of up your quality, make a bot account. So what I've done is I made like, just like a, like a different account that no one knows about. And then I just test my streams on there if I need to change something. And that's a little bit easier. You just throw in a different stream key and then you just go. So it's, it's super simple to do that a little bit easier than just you know, doing it off your normal account. And the same thing for X, X62 or X264. I think I said that wrong earlier in the video. Sick nasty dude, I'm smart and you should trust me. Uh, <laughs> you'll just go down the, this list and put them in there. Now Twitch does say 900p uh, 60 frames per second. And then, like I said, the only reason I'm not doing that right now is because of the fact that when I've recorded it, it kind of 
it just hasn't done well. Like if I take it out of Twitch and then like if I just take the VOD out of Twitch and try to put it on YouTube, the quality just tanks for me. So uh, it's something to think about, but you guys are gonna wanna look at this. Now with bitrate, this isn't just like some magical number that you can just throw in and it's gonna be totally fine. Uh, it's all based on your internet. So let's read this real quick. Uh, internet speed or you know the bitrate. Your ingest bitrate is the amount of data that you are the amount of data you send to Twitch when you stream. A higher bitrate takes up more of your available internet bandwidth. Increasing your bitrate can improve your video quality, but only up to a certain point. Our recommended bitrate settings have been tested to optimize video quality without wasting bandwidth. So you need to make sure that your internet speed can handle the bitrate. You need to make sure your internet speed can handle the bitrate. And a great way to test that is to kind of uh, test it in your like in your you know fake account or just to test it on on your normal if you you're just starting out. And so you're gonna want to kind of mess with that bitrate if you're having like stream issues. Most of the time, it is your bitrate, especially if you have all these other things set up well. Uh, you might not be able to stream at the at 1080p. That's okay. 720 frames per sec or 720 at 60 frames per second or even 30 frames still looks phenomenal, dude. And you only need to hit 3,000 bitrate. So don't like be like tricked by this number. And also at 1080p, sometimes you can get some pixelization because 6,000 bitrate where uh, Twitch caps it off is not actually like the best like bitrate to run it at. So keep that in mind. You don't want to, you don't want to just, Oh, I need 1080p, but you just focus on how to get your stream the most stable it possibly can. Because if you've ever watched streams before, you know, once there's like an instability in a stream, you're out, you're leaving baby toodles. See you later. So long farewell. You know what I'm saying, baby? So uh, make sure your stream is stable. That's going to be one of your, one of your biggest things. Um, and so that's kind of the recommended the, the different settings for there I can't jump over to to show you guys the 264 But if you guys just follow this chart, which I will link in the description Follow this chart plug it in try it out if it doesn't work, you know, try try a lower uh, Resolution and kind of you know go from there I, I can't stress enough to figure this out before you start streaming because your life will be a lot better <laughs> You won't get you won't smash your monitor Okay, and then when it comes to audio um, I basically it, it's just setting up the right devices for the right things. So desktop audio, uh, I just have coming out of my speakers and then obviously your mic needs to be set to your mic. Uh, most of the time, if you're not getting like a signal, it's, it, you probably can come in here and see that your mic isn't actually connected or you haven't plugged your mic in that that happens from time to time <laughs> video. Uh, this is going to be, see your base canvas here. You're going to want. If you can have this at the same as your output, awesome. If you if not, then you can just have your base canvas on what your all your overlays have been made to and all that kind of stuff. And then you can put uh, your output to what you need to put it to. And then all these things are just I think they're pretty much standard or I, you know, that's just what I've found to be the best from now on. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what this means, but dab on the haters. If you have something better, then let me know. Uh, hotkeys, this is just where you can set up uh, different things to like, if you don't have like a stream deck, you can set up different keys to to move to different uh, things. I'm gonna do a video on this in a, in a little bit. It'll be in this group of videos. Um, that's pretty much, yeah, that's pretty much all we need to talk about for this video. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been really the basic settings for setting up your guys' streams. Make sure you guys use that freaking chart. It'll help you. It'll save your life. It'll save you time, dude. And time is the most valuable currency you can have. My dog is eating stuff right now, so I need to go. I appreciate you. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure you guys check out my Twitch channel. It's in the description. And also, make sure you guys have a great time streaming. Make sure you uh, smile and just, you know, get out there and do it big and do it different, baby. We'll see you in the next video. Toodles. Bye. Hi, my name is Nick, and you should click on the next video, please. And don't forget my Twitch and my Instagram, my Twitter too, that's how it's gonna do. That didn't make sense, but it rhymed. Just click on everything I have, please, please. Okay, bye.